What's up guys? Welcome back to All Weeds Everything. I am your cook Spinelli. I am the self-proclaimed Ween King and the Prince and Ruler of All Lemon Pepper Wings. And if you don't like it, I don't care. Click that link above me and I'm going to show you guys how to make the best lemon pepper wings on the planet. Now, in today's video, you can see by the thumbnail and the title, I got a very, very special recipe for you guys today. And it comes from one of my subscribers. Her name is Fawn Nicole. And let me tell you, this was her exact message to me. You may be the Prince of Lemon Pepper, but I'm the Queen of Orange Pepper. Guys, those are fighting words to the Wing King. So I had to figure out and see what she was talking about. And let me tell you, I have to give her her crown. She is the queen of orange pepper. She is the queen of orange pepper. These wings were amazing, guys. I'm telling you, you have to try them. I know you're gonna enjoy them. And let me tell you something. If you guys have a recipe that you think is outstanding and you want the wing king to put his touches on them, send them in to me, all right? So, I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right guys, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. Right here we have our Publix Green Wise Chicken. We have some Sazon in the packet. Right here we have some orange pepper seasoning. Uh, to tell you the truth, I've seen this seasoning before and I just never really paid any attention to it, but I'm glad um, Fawn put me on this uh, seasoning. So shout out to Fawn for uh, putting me on this. This is some good stuff. We have some um, orange juice some orange drink, whichever uh, type of orange drink you drink, you can do Fanta, this is a crush, uh, cayenne pepper, fish sauce, uh, garlic powder, and we got some pepper right here. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've already measured out our ingredients and cut and clean our chicken. I'm gonna tell you guys what I have right here. I have a cup of the uh, orange drink, a cup of uh, orange juice, this is one packet of the Sazon season. If you don't have a packet, this looks like about a teaspoon and a half right here, or a teaspoon uh, of Sazon season, two teaspoons of uh, black pepper, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and I have a tablespoon of that fish sauce. So these are the grease we're gonna use for our, mari our marinade. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna prepare the marinade. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna uh, dump all these ingredients into one bowl. So right here, I'm gonna take this orange juice and dump it into this bowl with the orange drink. Then we're just gonna start adding our other ingredients, the fish sauce, no particular order, it doesn't matter. Our garlic powder, our Sazon mix, cayenne pepper, and our black pepper. And what we're gonna do right now, is we're just gonna give this a nice whisk Look at that beautiful color. All right. All right, so that's what we have. Let's take a look at that. All right, and let's move on to the next step. All right, so what I've done is I put our chicken into a Ziploc bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this marinade and I'm gonna start putting it into our bag. And I'm gonna start with like a half a cup. So this is a cup. Because what you want to do is you want to reserve uh, some of this marinade for the sauce. So this is a cup and a half. Let me see what that looks like to make sure all my chicken is submerged in this. Let me take a little bit more. Yeah. So we do a one and three fourths cups of marinade. And I'm going to reserve this right here, this leftover for our uh, sauce when the chicken is done. So let me go ahead and zip this up. And what I'm gonna do is make sure to air all the air is out of it. Just like that, look at that. Oh man, I can tell, I can tell this is gonna be, <laughs> this is amazing. Fun, thank you. This is gonna be amazing. I can already tell it. So. You can let this marinate uh, for a minimum of four hours up to uh, overnight, 24 hours. I'm gonna leave mine in there overnight. 
because I want the maximum flavor. So this is my first time making this one, so I want the maximum flavor. So I'm going to leave mine in there for 24 hours. So I'll see you guys in 24 hours. All right, guys, so I lined our baking sheet and going to spray our grates here with some um, cooking spray. All right, so now I've already I removed our uh, chicken from the uh, refrigerator. It's been 24 hours, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these straight from the bag over here to our pan. Look at that guys, a nice little orange color, which is to be expected. They were marinating in some orange juice, which is not really orange, but the drink, the orange drink was, so that's why we got this, um, this look here. All right, again, you want to place these bad babies on here about a half an inch to an inch apart. You know, try not to overcrowd your pan. They smell good. They really, really smell good. Now, remember, um, I was saying earlier that, well, you know, when we was actually preparing the marinade that, you know, once you remove them from this bag, you can use this marinade for the sauce. But I didn't do that. I reserved the marinade, some marinade so I can make my own sauce. I don't like, you know, using this marinade that this raw chicken is set in for hours or overnight for a marinade, I just don't like to do that. Uh, something about it doesn't sit well with me. So, but you can use that if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. So, here's what we got guys. So what I'm gonna do, I've already preheated our oven to uh, 400 degrees. You know, I'm gonna let these things sit in there for 45 to 50 minutes, uh, cause I like mine's a little bit crispy. Then I'm gonna turn them over midway through the cooking process. So let's go ahead and get these in the oven and then we can start working on our uh, orange pepper sauce. See you in a bit. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start preparing our sauce. So what we got right here, this is our um, reserve marinade that we had from the, um, when we cooked it, er I mean, when we prepared it earlier. We got three tablespoons of that orange pepper seasoning and I'm going to use a stick of butter. So let's go ahead and get this stick of butter melted. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there, get that melted. All right, so while that is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding our marinade. And let's go ahead and add our orange pepper seasoning. And we're gonna go ahead and get this all cooked up, butter melted, all combined. All right, so we're bringing that to a boil. Go ahead and let this, still not completely melted. And what we're gonna do is, I'm going to go ahead and just turn it down and let it simmer and thicken up. So we'll just go ahead and let this thing simmer, turn it down, let it simmer for about, we'll do it for about five minutes. All right, be right back. All right, and we're just gonna let that simmer. See how it's simmering and it's thickening up. Take a look at it, it's kind of thickening up. Smells good. All right guys, so it looks like our sauce is ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're going to put this into a bowl like this. Let's go ahead and put it in a bowl. Now guys, I'm gonna have to try this because I never tried it, so I'm gonna have to try this. Get, see what it tastes like. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Man, this sauce is delicious. All right, guys, I'm ready for those wings to get done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna baste these wings uh, around the last 10 minutes of the cooking time. I'm gonna baste them, brush them down with these with this um this uh, orange pepper sauce. Then when they come out, we're gonna we're gonna toss them up in there again. All right. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So after 50 minutes, this is what we got, guys. Take a look at that. Let me get you a close. Let me see if I can zoom in on that so you guys can see that. Look at that color. Look at that. Delicious, delicious. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, 
put these into a bowl and then we're going to uh, go ahead and get them sauced. So let's go ahead and transfer them over to this bowl. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our sauce and we're just, I'm going to spoon it over here over our wings like this instead of pouring it all on it and make it too saucy. I don't want it too saucy. But this, you know, guys, I tasted this sauce and it's, it's delicious. It's delicious. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, do our normal cover it up and do a little shake it, bake it, bake it, bake it, bake it, bake it, shake it, shake it, bake it, bake it. Take a look at that goodness. That's some beauty there. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these um plate these things plated up and dressed up, and I'll be right back. And guys, this is what we have after they're plated up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, for some additional flavor, and also recommended by Fawn, is to add some additional sprinkle of that orange pepper seasoning over the top, like that. Oh man, what do you think about that? And there you have it guys, orange pepper wings. Guys, this is a delicious recipe. I wanna go ahead and give Fawn a shout out real quick before I even get into the, uh, my spiel. This is a great recipe, I love it. Guys, if you need the ingredients, go ahead, click those links in the video description. I did put them in there. Also the measurements, and also the ingredients are in the video description below. And if you need to get these items and you don't have them at home, go ahead, buy them from Amazon. They'll deliver them straight to your house. Guys, I'm telling you, you want to go ahead and try this recipe. And until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything. And I'm going to tell you, the reason why I'm hurrying out is because my battery light is flashing. So I got to get out of here. And I am out. Peace. Thanks, Fawn.